Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with Mech Tech Keyboards with another transmission brought to you from Keyboard World. And today we're taking a look at an interesting find that once again I have to thank my name is Anthony on the subreddit for bringing this up. He, You're on top of the sales. I just don't know how you do it, but you know of every sale. I think you need to change your name to My Name is Sales. <laughs> anyway, today we're taking a look. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this kit. Now, we all think that this is just a rebrand of this kit. In case you're not familiar with this one, since it has a different kit. Well, it usually comes on uh, bare bone. But this is the Fecker IK75. Now, I am working on a 75% keyboard, but... Some of the most popular budget 75% options include the NJ80, or Epomaker has now made it the TH80. I do not consider them the same because Epomaker has screwed up the software on the TH80, um, and I've got a video coming out about that. So if you like this board, get the NJ80, not the TH80. And then the next time, 75. Uh, this is from Homo. Actually, even though this is next time, Homo is the same company that makes the TM680 or the LK67. I'm um, sure you guys know which board that is, but this is the next time 75. Now, out of these three boards, when somebody asks me which one should I get, I always pick the Fecker. Now, why do I pick the Fecker over all the rest of them? One, it comes with an extra plate. Most budget boards, I mean, almost no budget boards will come with an extra plate nowadays. Two, it's build quality. It really has an extremely nice build quality. It's 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 got two 4,000 milliamp hour batteries. I'm not much for wireless, but if you're going to have wired, you might as well go powered. And this has the power. So based on all the... You know, if you put all those three up together, I would say the Fecker IK75, then the NJ80, and then the Next Time 75. The Next Time 75 is a good board, but it's very lightweight. It's not very substantial. It's kind of like the LK67. It's a great board, but requires a little bit of work to really make it shine, and it can shine. Um, so this board here that we're taking a look at today, was it just popped up. And it was on sale, and it's not anymore. Uh, apparently, only a few people were able to get it on sale, but it's a Dierka T83. And from the looks of it, it appears to be a Fecker IK75 clone. So we're going to go ahead and do an unopening today, or unboxing, and see an un unopening, an opening or unboxing, and see what we've got. Now, this one, it's a brown switch, wireless, and black. Oh, I thought this was a bare bone. So yeah, when um, this was first listed, I think it was listed for, uh, I think it was 99 with a $20 off coupon with a $20 prime savings. But I, I, I think it, that's gone now. But I was able to pick up this board for, I think it was $59 shipped. So, all right, we've got another sticky here. Now, so far, it's well packaged um, for a budget board. I have not. I don't think I've bought a Dierka before. I can't say that I have. I know they're a budget brand, ultra budget brand. All right, so let's see what we've got here. I'm oh, sorry about that. My uh, inkjet printer exploded. My wife said that my Smurf must be bleeding. All right, so what do we got here? So this is the TKB? I don't know, DK, DK83? Okay, we've got in Russian, Chinese, basically just the shortcuts here. Let's see what we've got here. Looks like we've got a braided USB-C cable and one of the better keycap pullers. I like these with the little button or ridges here. And this is actually a, a decent... Oh, it's cool. Oh, hey, this is interesting. I have not seen one of these USB cables yet come with a... Uh, excuse me, come with a keyboard. Um, this is, that's pretty cool, actually. It's basically just exposed, the contact points, but it's got an interesting cable, but that that angle kind of says, hey, is the connector on the side? Well, let's see what we've got here. 
Oh, puddin' caps. All right, so off the bat, I can say that, well, it doesn't have an extra plate. So there's that. But I was not aware that this came with puddin' caps. I, for some reason, I thought this was a bare bone. All right, so it's got a black knob. Yeah, and there's nothing else in here. All right, nope. All right, so we got no extra plate. We've got this angled cord, despite, yeah, no, this is definitely the fecker. But why is that cord angled? It's not like we're dealing with a key cron. So, yeah, so let me um, just take this. All right, yeah, this is definitely the fecker, as we can see. Um, you got the double batteries. Um, obviously, this is the frosted one, but you can tell from the way the port is. And you can look at the bottom. Yep. Same exact thing. So this is just another version of the Fecker. Though, it does come with switches and the keycaps, um, browns. It, um, it doesn't have an extra plate. See, on this one, I have the PC plate installed on this one. It's hard to see, but that's got the PC plate in there, which gives it a nice... I, I like PC plates, personally. I think they just sound better, but this one, I'm going to guess, has the steel plate. Yep, it looks like the steel plate. So, and it's got some pretty cheap... Um, these aren't double shot. These are, I mean, look at that. I, I can bend it. I can bend these keys with my fingers. That's too thin. I don't even need to bother to measure this because I know it's less than one millimeter thick. So, and oh, I'm not meant to check. Are those? Yep, and they are TMKB, so these aren't even Gateron Browns. <sighs> so far, I'm not very impressed for the price. I purchased, well, I guess I shouldn't say that because I think I've I got my Fecker for around $49 when it first came out. $49 or $52. But it was bare bone. But it did come with an extra plate. So this has switches and keycap, but I want neither. I would rather a plate. Oh, uh, and it's got that damn green light charging. I hit the pause record button. Despite having cheap caps on here, it doesn't sound surprisingly bad. Oh, man. Oh, I was going to say, did they super glue that on there? I've seen that done, and that's just about ridiculous there. All right. So it's got a nice knob, nice click. But it is, it does come with the, um, I don't know if it's the steel or the aluminum plate. And these pudding caps, though. Um, they're not my favorite by far. And the charging light. That, you see how it does that little like snake to the center? That means that it has a Sonics or a Sonics clone C MCU. Um, so if someone has the time, they could probably port this board to, to Sonics QMK. Though the Fecker. There is an IK75 that is a QMK version. And I thought it was the same PCB, but I saw the PCB and it has a reset button on it. And this one doesn't. So, so initial impressions. I mean, I got it for a lot cheaper than it's listed now. So at the price that I got it for, I think it's a, a good value because I can modify it and get it to a better spot. Anything above $70, I think it would be a pass for me. Because this was so cheap, I think it's 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 worth the um, the investment. Because I mean, I'm going to take these keycaps and uh, and switches out. I mean, but uh, and stabilizers they do need some uh, some work. There is a little bit of uh, lube on there, not much, but they are. I mean, they're I've seen much looser, but they are they definitely need some work. All right, so. This is the DK83 uh, by Dierka, which is basically just their 
version of the Fecker IK-75. And like I said, uh, I prefer that this would, I wish they would have offered this one bare-boned for a little bit more um, and have the option of the plate because I don't know if that plate is sold third party. So not having that extra plate or at least, I mean, I would have used the PC plate right off the bat, but, you know, if I was going to sell it like this, it would have been a better deal. So, my impressions are, for one, a keyboard shouldn't come with putting caps. I don't know. Call me weird. It just, it's not a good look. It makes the keyboard look cheap. I know some people like putting caps. I liked putting caps at one point. But, um, I mean, like, if I don't have the lights on, I mean, I touch type, but a lot of people like to see the letters. I can hardly even read the legends. Um, it's unfortunately the keycaps and the switches, in my opinion, detract from the value of the board. Because what am I going to do with these? I mean, I'm not going to set the key, these keys on another keyboard. I don't want to use them on here. And the browns, I mean, they're clone browns. They're going to sit in a box. I'm never going to use them. I'm never going to pop them into another board. So I don't know what the point is behind this. Um, if you can find a Fecker IK75, a bare bone, for the same price or cheaper, get that. Because you're going to get the second plate. And you can pick your switches and keycaps to put on it. And you just, I mean... Why pay more? It You know, a lot of people argue, well, it's pre-built and it comes with switches and keycaps. Well, if it comes with switches and keycaps, I don't want, and I'm going to end up either storing or throwing away or giving away, then that's not a value proposition. That's more of a loss um, because I've paid for something I don't want. So that's why. Now, granted, obviously, this is Dierka. They're... They probably have a strategy behind this. For, I'm, I'm guessing they're going to be aiming to sell this keyboard to people who just want to buy it, plug it in, and go. So that's that. But I, I just I don't get the pudding caps. And, I mean, at least do some Gator on Browns. I mean, clone Browns? Come on. So that was just my quick review. I'm going to go ahead and do a short sound test just so you guys can hear what this keyboard sounds like stock um we'll see until the next transmission i am working on my 75 percent video and there's a lot to go over and uh, actually i probably just include this one but with the ik uh the fecker um so until my next transmission keep calm keyboard on peace and love y'all